Hi guys. So today I'm going to be reviewing an ionic nebulizing aroma therapy diffuser and this is it. This is the cord it comes with and this is the diffuser itself. <laughs> I was sent this diffuser for free to review and to give my opinion and also to show you guys how to use it and all that kind of stuff. So let's just get into it. I've had this diffuser for over a month now, a little bit longer, because I just wanted to make sure that I knew everything about it and tried every way to use it before I gave you guys a good review. I unboxed it and unboxing it was really awesome. I really like the packaging. It came to me super fast. It did come from, I believe, Taiwan. So, and it got to me fairly fast. Everything is packaged together and in some foam. So you don't have to worry about it breaking. Inside the package is the glass reservoir, the glass cap, the base, and the power sock, the power cord, and it came with its own charger port, and it's a USB one, so that's cool if you wanted to plug it into your computer or something like that. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure it would work. And this is the plug. It's a pretty long cord, which I was happy about, because I like to put my diffuser on top of my fireplace, and then there's an outlet right next to it, so it would reach, and it did. I like that. So this diffuser is very different from other diffusers where you don't use water to get it going. A different diffuser you would put water in and then drop your essential oils in. Well this one you just drop the oils right in and if you can see not really because it's a little foggy from being cleaned, but you can see they have two tubes here and it says not to go above those two tubes. It says keep the oil level at at least one fourth inch below the top of the two small glass tubes at the bottom. That was a little confusing for me. So what you would do is you take the glass cap out, you drop your essential oils in here, and like I said, it doesn't say how many drops, just tells you the level that it should be. So go by that. Once you have put the oil in, you put the lid back on and then you plug it in and you can turn your diffuser on. You can see there is a light. Right now there's just water to clean it out. I was cleaning it. I've learned that turning it all the way to the right is super high, whereas turning to the left is kind of low. It does not say it on here, high or low. It does not say it on there. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this was not one of my favorite diffusers. Uh, I tried really hard to get it to be a way that I did like it. That's why I waited so long to do this review, but I'm really not a fan of it, and I'll explain why. And you know, this is my honest opinion, my honest review, and if you still like it, by all means, definitely go purchase yourself one. So we'll start with the pros. I feel like one of the pros are that it is small and you know compact because I have a diffuser that's way bigger than this. And so it is very small and it is cute. You know, I when I saw the picture, I was really excited to get it and you know, be able to review it for you guys. Another pro is that it did come with a sample oil. It is just orange oil. It smelled really good. I mean, it smelled, you know, like orange. And um, I think that was like a plus for it. So those are my only pros as of right now. So now let's get into the cons. One of the cons that I have is that it is glass and I feel like, you know, being a mom of almost two, I have it up high, but I just, I'm always nervous and even cleaning it, I'm nervous because it's glass and it could break. And taking it out of the base is even scary because you could easily snap the little neck down there. So I'll show you, there's a certain way you just pull it out. They say don't like, you can rock it back and forth a little bit, but they say not to just like pull it to one side because it can, as you can see, there's this little piece and it can, that could snap and break. And then this is super fragile. 
This is all glass. Another issue that I was having is that it does seem to get clogged easily. I wasn't feeling it all the way even to what they said because I was just, you know, testing it out with their oil. It has this function where it will, it supposedly will run for two minutes and then shut off for a minute and then on back for the two minutes. And then after two hours, it'll shut off completely. The light will still be on and if you wanted to turn it back on, you'd have to physically turn it off and then back on you'd have to turn it off and then back on so um I don't really like that about it because I like my I let my other diffuser just run all day you know or until the water runs out I guess it does that on off on off because it doesn't have water to dilute the oils so maybe the oils are too strong for some people I'm not sure I definitely do smell the oil it does a good job but I just, I don't really like that function that it has. And since it gets clogged easily, you have to clean it constantly. And that's another thing that I don't really um, like a lot is that you have to clean it constantly after each use. And I will, my other diffuser, I will use, then I'll just fill it up. Maybe I'll just rinse it out. I don't have to, you know, deep clean it. And there are three ways to clean this diffuser. And you would think that would make it a little bit easier, but I still found that it wasn't just super easy because it does take, you know, a little bit of time to actually get it clean. They have a partial cleaning, they have general cleaning, and then they have a deep cleaning. With partial cleaning, you have to remove the glass cap, put the glass reservoir into a cup, and then using the little droppers that they provided for you, you take alcohol and squirt it right into the tubes, right into like where the tubes are. And then after you've done that and you think that that was enough, you just, it says dispense the unused alcohol. I've found it hard to get the alcohol out. So you have to either use suction to get, use the dropper to get it out or just let it dry. And then, you know, that takes a while also cause you don't want oils mixed in with your alcohol. Then for general cleaning, you do the same thing. Remove the glass cap, use the dropper to add just plain alcohol but this time you leave it in the base and you let it run you turn it on and let it run five to ten minutes and it's supposed to clean it and I have found I just have been using their orange essential oil because I just wanted to see you know how it worked and I had to do that a couple of times it didn't get clean the first time same with the partial cleaning the partial cleaning I had to do that also I had to do that a couple times um, so it was just a little frustrating and then the last one which probably works the best but takes the longest is uh, the deep cleaning and you take the glass cap off you prepare a container with hot water and detergent and put the glass reservoir in the hot water I used a pot because it says that it's better for cleaning if the water can be reheated a little bit periodically so what I did was I heated up a little bit of water on the stove I put the glass reservoir in there I turned off the stove and then when it was getting cooled down or whatever and I still noticed a little bit of oil particles I turned it back on and let it you know heat up a little bit more and kept doing that until I didn't really see anymore like you know how you can see little oil bubbles and stuff like that and then you're supposed to keep that in there for an hour or more depending on how dirty or clogged your reservoir is and then after the water cools down you can take the reservoir out and you gently wash with the water which Again, you have to somehow get the water out. I use the dropper to suck the water out <laughs> for time purposes. But yeah, so you use hot water and detergent, which I use, you know, Dawn dish soap. Overall, I would say I do not really like this diffuser. I will use it, obviously, because it is a good diffuser to use if you have the time for the cleanup and everything else that goes with it. There will be a link down below for you to read about other diffusers and you can make a choice on which diffuser is right for you. Like I said, this is a different one. This is a nebulizing diffuser that doesn't use water. So 
if you're interested in that then then and you don't mind the cleaning you don't mind that it's glass because even cleaning it is a little scary because when you have it in the pot and you're trying to get it out and you don't want to break it you know so I hope that you guys enjoyed this review if you have any questions please leave them down below don't forget to check out the website that I'm going to link down below it'll give you a bunch of insight on a bunch of different diffusers so you can choose which one is the best for you and I will see you next time.